Hi, my name is Dave Andrews. Today I'm going to talk to you about what I think is the best personal finance software. Uh, I use Quicken for all of my personal finances and I think it's the greatest software out there. It also ranges from uh, sort of the low end, uh, sort of just you know home people using it, all the way up to uh, large businesses, enterprises using it. And it will range from about $30 to $100, depending on the type of version that you buy. You'd be fine buying the $30 version from the store. I'm going to show you a little bit about how to use it. Let's just click on the Start button. We'll go to All Programs. Let's go to Quicken. We'll just open up Quicken. Now, what this shows you on this very first screen is what's called the cash flow for the given month that you're looking at. I'm looking at January 2009, and as you can see on the end, I haven't put in any income for this month, so it's currently showing zero, but it also has a minus out, which would show me any expenses or bills or uh, you know ledger expenses that I'd put in. It would subtract those, and I would get what's left, which would be my current balance for January 18th, uh, and it would also show me down here my cash flow difference for the entire month. I want to put in just a real quick uh, couple of ledger items and show you how Quicken handles it. Over here on the left, I'm going to go down to my checking account. I'm going to right click on it. I'm going to say go to checking. And then on the overview, it allows me to delete this account or reconcile this account or I can set it up to actually uh, connect to my bank online, which is a very neat tool that Quicken provides and I use that quite a bit. Uh, it'll actually go and download every single transaction from my bank. And I can also click here and view a few reports. But what I'm wanting to do is I'm wanting to create a new uh, transaction within this system. And you can do so by either using a scheduled bill or deposit. Or you can download your transaction as I was saying before. So as you can see, I've added my transaction and it now shows up with $50 in my checking account. My name is Dave Andrews, and I've just talked to you a little bit about personal finance software.